So I love my Explorer Scientific Twilight One mount, but I've always wished that it had a guide handle. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I added one. Okay, so the Twilight One mount does not have a guide handle with it. So if you have a short telescope like an SCT, it's a little bit harder to move it around, um, at least quickly, uh, when you're not using the slow motion control, since you do have a short moment arm there with the telescope being compact, and it's a little bit harder to smoothly move it around. So I do want to go ahead and add a guide handle to this telescope mount. Now, Agena Astro Products does offer a guide handle you can buy that does work with a Twilight One mount, as well as all the Vixen Porta mounts. And so I went ahead and picked up that guide handle, and I'll show you here how I attached it. Now this is a very easy installation. All you need to do is to unscrew the saddle plate and the Twilight One mount does come with the Allen wrench that you need to do that. Now to add the guide handle, you do need longer screws since the 12 millimeter screws I currently hold on the dovetail saddle uh, are not gonna be long enough to extend through the guide handle and still securely attach it to the mount head. Now, fortunately they do give you some roughly 20 millimeter long screws to attach the guide handle and your dovetail saddle to the mount head so you don't have to go ahead and buy any additional screws if you do buy the handle you do get the screws you need uh, included with the package now if you try to attach the guide handle in the same orientation that the saddle was initially you are going to run into a problem because it is going to kind of interfere with the slow motion control handle as well and so the best thing to do here is to offset the guide handle from the slow motion control so you can prevent that interference you want to offset it by you know say like 45 degrees you have to use the outer set of holes in the guide handle and in the dovetail saddle and in the mount head to be able to do that so you need to go ahead and put the screws through the outer holes in the saddle and then the outer holes in the handle and then the outer holes on the mount head and then you can secure everything at a 45 degree angle to the slow motion control handle and then this way you won't have any interference so then all you need to do is just secure both of those screws make sure they're nice and tight and you're pretty much good to go so let's go ahead and get the C6 put back on the mount. You can kind of see how everything works together. So with the guide handle installed, I can now easily and quickly pan around the telescope, which will be very handy uh, when you're trying to you know, move around the night sky. And I still have the slow motion controls very easily accessible. Um, so you can use both at the same time very easily. So anyway, if you are looking to add a guide handle to your Twilight One mount, this is a good option. The one downside is that it is a very expensive arm. It's a $70 arm uh, when it's not on sale. So, but I do find it very useful and do enjoy using it. So if you are looking to add a guide handle to your Twilight One mount or to your Vixen Porta mount, this is definitely a nice option to look at. Anyway, that's all for now and thanks for watching. Bye.